What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. Okay, so today is a trade episode. It's not going to be very long, but it's going to prepare us for the next few things to come. Now, I, I remember saying this at the very beginning of our um, of our walkthrough. This is not one of my favorite games of all time. In fact, I played it through in uh, in, in its entirety of Pokemon Shining Pearl and. Yeah, it, you know, I have the same opinion as most people that this game has just been, you know, it, there was no changes, there was no, it was just rushed and everything. So, the other thing that really, the other thing that really just like, just like, just kind of made me feel like, oh, this game was not, like, this game was not all that in a bag of chips was because they didn't add, like, the storyline, like, in Pokemon Platinum. Normally, every single kind of, like, uh, what was it called? Uh, every single kind of uh, remake had some kind of extra storyline. You know, Heart Gold and Soul Silver brought in all the legendaries. You had Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby. They brought in this story, but this one right here was just. It wasn't uh, up to par. So, I did say I am going to try and finish this walkthrough as quickly as possible. That's how much I hate it. And uh, so, at some point in our walkthrough, I'm going to be swapping Pokemon and all that stuff uh, just to make my teams just a little bit better. And then we can go rush through and just defeat everybody we can. So what we're going to do today is we're going to be trading some Pokemon. I have my eyes on a few things. Smoke needs to evolve. We can finally trade it. And, uh, well, let's see. I think it's this one right here. Let's see. There we go. Okay, so welcome to the Union Club. Interact with other trainers, and yes, we. Okay, so the adventure, yes, we're gonna save that stuff, and uh, well, everything's being saved, and I'm doing the same thing in Shiny Pearl. If you guys don't know, it's right here. <laughs> so we're gonna be going into the local room, and we're gonna be trading a few Pokemon here and there, maybe evolving a Pokemon here and there too, and we are communicating. And it looks like to me that we are finally here. So I'm going to go there and I'm going to go follow this guy. And well, let's see. What if I go like this? Uh, let's see. I always I always seem to forget this kind of stuff. So let's see. Um, ah, call. Let's go ahead and trade. All right, so we're doing that. We're going to call. And we're gonna trade. And it looks like we're communicating with each other. Now the funny thing is that like right here on screen, they don't look like that in the other in the <coughs> other version. They get put in. Uh, well, let's see. Let's see. What do I do here? Okay. So there we go. And yes, we are. We are trading, okay? For those who don't know who, Ed who Edgar is, that is my middle name, okay? So leave me the heck alone. Anywho, what we're going to be doing right here, guys, is I'm going to be trading some simple... Uh, I'm going to be making some simple trades right here, okay? One, we're going to be trading smoke. And for that, I am going to be trading... Let's see. I have quite a few Pokemon in this Pokedex. And let's see... Da, 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 da. Oh wow! Yeah, we do have quite a few Pokemon in this uh, walkthrough. Oh, we have a level 70 Mewtwo. I completely forgot about that. How did we get that? Well, we put it. We uh, put it in the. Uh, we put it in the game right here. So let's see. Who should I trade? Who should I trade? Um. Oh, we're gonna have to fill up our Pokedex somehow. So, I'm going to trade Magmordar. Yes, Magmordar for smoke. And you guys are not going to be able to see it. Probably, yeah, I probably should. Uh... Okay, so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to show it right here. And. Huh. <laughs> There you go. We made it an official trade, and because we traded Haunter, yes, one of our poke or you know, Smoke is gonna evolve. So as you guys can see, Smoke is now evolving. And I'm just hold on. There we go. <laughs> so 
should probably put it right here. And there you have it, guys. Smoke has evolved into Gengar. It's pretty fantastic right there. Uh, so the next trade, I'm probably looking into Ultra Cycle right here just to trade it. And what I'm going to do right here is... Let's see. Trade uh, Smoke back. So yeah, we're going to get Smoke back for Ultra Psycho and then do another trade right here. I might just even, like, I might even get an extra Pokemon here in Shining Pearl so I could trade it. So we can add to the team right here because, holy crud, we, we do need a boost. I know that we can trade over in, or we can train these Pokemon in the Underground Path or whatever it's called. But I, I, I don't have time for that stuff right now. So here we are trading our Pokemon yet again. And, well, you're back with uh, good old Smoke. And you guys are going to see another evolution because, you know, I'm nice. I'm that nice. So, there it is. We got Gengar's data right there. And look at this. We are getting ourselves an evolution with Ultra Psycho. And look at that. Okay. And I'm going to press this button right here. And, well, from what it says right there while I'm reading this, it hides in the shadows. It is said to that in the rooms where Gengar is hiding, the temperature drops by nearly 10 degrees Fahrenheit. That is cold. That is death. And, well, would you look at that? We got ourselves Ultra Psycho evolved into, you know, uh, Alakazam. Okay, so... Let's see. Who's the next Pokemon that we need to trade? Oh, yeah, Magmortar. <laughs> we can always keep Magmortar. We don't really need it. But we need to return it. And, uh, let's see, where's Ultra Psycho? Okay, so it's that and Ultra Psycho. And then, you know, I'm just going to trade whatever Pokemon I, I can. That way I can, like, that way I can, uh, what was it, use them right here. It, it's it's just like I said, guys. Um, this game, like, I, I played it in its, entire, in its entirety. I'm not too happy with it. And I'm actually glad that, like, Pokemon ZA is coming out next, next year. So hopefully in those, like, remakes, you know, we get ourselves something you know, decent or something like that. And, well, look at this. Ultra Psycho is back with us. And we're getting the Pokedex entry right here. As you guys can see, Alakazam, the Psy Pokemon, its superb memory lets it recall everything it has experienced from birth. It, its IQ exceeds 5,000. That is brainy. Brainy AF right there. So, uh, let's see. Who do I want to use, or who do I want to bring over? Let's see, um, there is one Pokemon that I do want to bring over, and it might be a little controversial. No, it's not going to be controversial. It's more like, it's going to be more like, uh, well, you know, it's expected and all that stuff. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and bring this guy over because eventually, you know, our Pokedex is going to need it. So, I'm going to trade Palkia, and... Hmm. Actually, you know what? We're just gonna keep it like that. I'm just gonna press it like that. So we're gonna we're gonna stay put because we don't have any other Pokemon. Off screen, I'm gonna try and capture Pokemon and do other things. So that is pretty much it right there. Yeah, so the cancel trade. And we're gonna go back home. Yes. And that is that. Okay, so we're going to lower the volume on that. Now, uh, I did say that I, I, I was going to change my team up just a little bit more because, you know, this game is eventually going to get harder and harder. And I do want to have a, a team stable enough to just go and, and destroy everybody. So if you guys have noticed, I have Gaia in my Pokedex. I have Gaia in my, in my uh, PC. And what we're going to do is we're going to replace Electrostar. Uh, well... We're going to replace Ultra Psycho and put Smoke back onto the team right here. And little by little, I'm going to be start, I'm going to start constructing a team. And I think I have, what was it? I think I have two, two, uh, what was it called? Uh, I think I have two rare candies. So let's see what we have. It's right here. Yes, we have two rare candies. And we're going to give it to Gaia. And we're going to have... 
we're gonna have an evolution right here. Now, a guy is officially our strongest Pokemon. Now, the reason why I want Gaia on our team, it's always been reliable. It's been very reliable um, in many walkthroughs. And yes, I get it. I've used Gaia so many times and all that stuff. But I really want to use it right here because it is a very beneficial Pokemon with both its fairy and uh, its psychic typing. And, uh, well, let's go again one more. And it's at level 47. And just like that, we got ourselves a Gardevoir. So... That's a. I, I, I'd like to say that that's a very good update. It can learn electric type moves, so there is no loss in that. And, uh, you know, hopefully by when we continue on right here, we're gonna get we're gonna get more progressive with our team. So as you guys can see, Guard of Our is now in our team, and it wants to learn Dazzling Gleam. Okay, so we don't have to use up the one we bought. And let's see, it has Future Sight, Dream Eater. Okay, so we don't need Dream Eater anymore, so we're going to go with that. One, two, and three, and there you go. Dazzling Gleam is now learned. And, well, that is pretty much it for this episode. In the next episode, guys, I haven't done this very much, and I think, I think we should. In the next episode, we're going to go underground, and we're going to be doing some stuff right there, battling some Pokemon, see, if we, see what we can find. Um, other than that, guys, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode as we continue our adventure here in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. See you guys.